$4,000 diamonds, cheap t-shirts, and affordable laptops have in common. All of them can be found here at the Unclaimed Baggage Center. To find out more, I sat down with some of the Unclaimed Baggage staff to figure out why exactly such unaffordable items are so affordable here. My name is Sunny Hood. I am the Public Relations and Community Involvement Coordinator here at Unclaimed Baggage. So uh, Sunny, what's the story behind Unclaimed Baggage? Like, how did, how did this whole thing come about? So Unclaimed Baggage was founded in 1970 by Mr. Doyle and Sue Owens. Mr. Owens was a local insurance salesman here in town, and he had a friend who worked for Trailways Bus Lines in Washington, D.C. And his friend gave him a call one day and told him how there were all of these suitcases that was just having to be thrown away that people were leaving behind. And so Mr. Owens thought this sounded like a really neat opportunity. So he borrowed a pickup truck and $300, drove up to Washington, D.C., got its first load of luggage, drove back to Scottsboro, and just set up the contents on folding tables in a little old rental house. And he looked out the window and there was an entire crowd outside waiting to come in. And so he ended up selling out in the first day. So obviously he knew he had something going here. So he ended up going back with a bigger truck, getting more lost luggage. He put an ad in the local newspaper, unclaimed baggage open Wednesdays and Saturdays. And eventually the community loved it so much that he decided to quit his job as an insurance salesman and sell luggage full time. So how does this airline baggage become unclaimed baggage? We have contracts with all major airlines and within those contracts, it states a bag must be lost for a minimum of 90 days. So within those 90 days, there is an extensive search that happens where they're trying to reunite it with their owner. And actually over 99.5% of the time, the airlines are successful in reuniting the bag with the owner. So our store is actually less than 0.5% of all lost bags. But when you think about the millions of people who are traveling, it's still enough to fill up our retail store, which is actually the size of a full city block. So yes, so that is how it becomes lost. So after those 90 days, we purchase it from the airlines. And then it comes to us where we have processors who unpack everything. It's sorted. They go between 25 to 30 different decisions on each item. Everything is laundered. We have the largest laundry facility in the state of Alabama. We launder 50,000 items a month, which is more than an average laundromat will launder in an entire year. Um, everything is priced at 20 to 80% off just based on the condition and the brand. And then it's sold on our sales floor or on our online channel. So that's 1,666 well, items of clothing a day. There you go. Mm -hmm. that's, that's crazy. It's a lot of stuff. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what um, what kind of, for people who have never been to your store, what kind of variety of products do you guys have here? So a lot of times people expect going to Unclaimed Baggage to be just entering a warehouse full of suitcases that you get to dig through. And that's actually not the case. Everything is nice and organized. We have the ladies department, men's department, children's, electronics, sporting goods, jewelry. We have one of the best jewelry departments ever. Um, so everything is sorted and by color and by size. Um, of course, lots of clothing, as I mentioned, jewelry and electronics. And you can also look around our store and see some of our lost treasures from over the years, which is some of our weird and wonderful things that we have found um, over the past 51 years. So what's the weirdest thing that you guys have found? We have found a live rattlesnake. We have found real shrunken heads. We have found full suits of armor. We have Neil Diamond's xylophone in our museum at the store. We have Hoggle from Jim Henson's The Labyrinth. Um, we have an autographed Paul McCartney jacket. The most expensive thing we have ever sold was back in 2014, and it was a men's platinum presidential Rolex watch that retailed for $64,000 and we sold for $32,000 after it had been here for two weeks. So what exactly happens to the baggage that isn't claimed or bought in the store? Right, so we actually have a really high standard of what we're going to sell. We wanna make sure that everything is in good condition for our guests. So other ways that we find a second life for an item might be recycling it or donating it through our charitable foundation, Reclaim for Good. 
So we do have a nonprofit side of our business. As I mentioned, it's called Reclaim for Good. And this is where we partner with charities across the state, across the country, and all around the world. So a few ways we are able to give back is um, one, our in-house charity called Love Luggage, where we take some of the hard-sided suitcases that come into our store and we take them out into the community and people paint them with happy images or quotes or scripture. And then we donate them to children in foster care so that they have a suitcase of their own to carry all of their belongings. We are also the sole provider of prescription eyewear to the Lions Club International, where eyewear is distributed all across the world to people who don't have access to that type of healthcare. We donate wheelchairs to a prison ministry called Joni and Friends, Wheels of the World, where broken wheelchairs are taken into prisons and they're refurbished and then distributed all across the world. Of course, we partner with thrift stores and ministries and homeless shelters just to give blankets and toboggans and um, just any other resources that come to us that we give back. So when you're shopping at Unclaimed Baggage, then you can feel confident knowing that these items are getting a second life or they're being used for a bigger cause. Um, there are many different charitable efforts. So what exactly makes Unclaimed Baggage unique as a retailer? So we're one of the top tourist destinations in the state of Alabama. We welcome over a million guests a year. Um, so making us number two to the beaches, um, we actually welcome more guests than the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville. Um, we have people travel from all across the world to come visit us here in the little town of Scottsboro, Alabama. So why Scottsboro, Alabama, of all places? Mr. Owens was born and raised here in town. This is where he started his family. This is where Unclaimed Baggage started. Um, we have just come to love and flourish in this small community, and we're just such a vital part of this town. And Scottsboro is honestly so lovely. You have the lakes and the mountains surrounding us. We're so close to Huntsville or Chattanooga or Atlanta. It honestly is just the perfect location. So do people have to make the pilgrimage to Scottsboro, Alabama to shop at Unclaimed Baggage? So for about 50 years, the answer would have been yes. But last year we celebrated our 50th anniversary and to celebrate, we launched unclaimedbaggage.com. And so now you can shop Unclaimed Baggage from anywhere in the US. It's honestly more of an experience, if anything, because you go into a regular department store and you kind of know what to expect, but you truly never know what you're going to find here at Unclaimed Baggage. you automatically go into the ladies department because we have a lot of ladies clothing and if you walk straight ahead then you will go to our jewelry department um, which is a place our guests love to shop we have all kinds of costume jewelry to high-end watches to diamond rings to wedding bands um, both men's and women's um, so if you look over here you can see some of our current showstoppers which is this 14 karat ruby ring that is surrounded by diamonds. Um, currently one of our biggest show pieces in the case right now. And how much is that? So our price is $21,757, um, which is about half off of the appraisal value. Wow, so that's roughly like $42,000? Yes. If you're looking yeah. for a diamond um, ring, Half off. <laughs> here's, your, here's your place. Yeah. So our jewelry department is actually the only items that is simultaneously listed on our e-com and in our store. Okay. Um, so it gives you a little bit more of urgency to snag that really great deal as soon as you see it. Yeah. As I mentioned earlier, you can find real um, rare gems here or right alongside it, you can find just really um, pretty costume jewelry that is at a very decent price. So here we have more um, bracelets and more wet men's wedding bands and then also some of our watches as I mentioned earlier 
this was where the most expensive thing we have ever sold um, was once kept back in 2014. The Rolex watch, which was right here amongst all the other watches. So it truly is a case of never knowing what you're going to find here. So how much was that most expensive watch you've ever sold? Yes, so the Men's Platinum Presidential Rolex watch. It was the most expensive thing we've ever sold out of anything. It retailed for 64,000 and we sold for 32,000. Wow. Yes. And that's 50% off. Yeah. The that's collector who bought it, I mean, that was a huge bargain for him. Yeah. Yeah. And then as we go this way, you start smelling something that smells really good if I do say so myself. And that is because for our guest convenience, we have our very own Cups Cafe, where you can have Starbucks coffee or Piper and Leaf tea, or you could even try our award-winning chicken salad. An interesting thing that we actually get into the store quite often is formal wear and wedding dresses. Um, so, you know, we get a lot of people coming in here shopping for prom, weddings, uh, made, of, made of honor dresses. Uh, mother of the bride, all of that. Uh, we have a lot of wedding dresses that come through, and we like to joke that we hope that they were coming from the wedding and not to the wedding. So here we have our North Wing, which is the home to our shoes and some more ladies wear. Of course, we get shoes of all kinds here, from boots to Converse to sneakers to athletic shoes. Um, so all that can be found right here. So our Men's and More store has three different levels. Here at the top level, you have more casual clothing, such as men's t-shirts. Um, right now we have swimming trunks, um, shorts, maybe more casual polos and things of that nature. Yes, so right now we are starting to do, um, we're starting to do sneak peeks of fall and winter clothing. Oh wow. Um, so everything is sorted seasonally. So yeah. we don't have all of our product out at every single moment of the year. So now we're going to our second level of the Men's and More store where you'll find more business professional clothes, um, such as button-ups and suits. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we do price all of our items at 20 to 80% off suggested retail value, so you can find some really great deals on some high-end suits. Because a lot of times our items actually will be brand new with tags, and people wonder why this is, um, and that's because what do you like to do when you're on vacation? your clothes right bring your new clothes your best items or you like to go shopping yeah mm -hmm. and then you lose it on an airline then you lose it and it comes to us where it's redeemed socks so one um, important fact we do not sell any type of used undergarment of any kind Hopefully um, not. any kind of undergarment <laughs> or socks has to be brand new with tags before we will sell it here now we do get used ones those would be donated okay <laughs> All right, and then our third level is our last chance in health and beauty aids section. So this is more of a treasure hunt kind of feel where you really never know what you're gonna find down here, whether it's a bottle of lotion or perfume, um, maybe a cosmetic bag or a hair dryer or linens or pillows or home decor of that sort. Um, so this is kind of the hodgepodge of that area. We have these bins over here that our guests love to dig through to try to find treasures before they're stocked on the sales floor. Um, so yep. just one big treasure hunt. I see some hydroflasks back there. Too. Yes, we do have several oh, wow. hydroflasks. We have a nice selection of coffee mugs and water bottles because obviously that's something that people like to travel with. This is 10 bucks. 10.59 for a hydroflask. That is insane. And this looks like a really nice coffee one too. Yes, or you have the larger ones here for $19.59. Usually retail value is about $50 if I'm not mistaken. Got stickers on this one too. There you go, it has character. The thermo flask too. Good lord. And this is like, and you would spend like how much on a hundred flask on average? I believe they retail for about $50, if not more. So that's that's literally like 89% off. Yeah. That's that's crazy. And there's more over here too. Great. So if you're looking for a hydro flask. Don't go to Walmart or Best Buy or Amazon.com. Um, come here, 10 bucks. Why not? Can't beat it. Do you guys get, so you guys mentioned that you get pretty much any kind of clothing in here. Do you get like nicer stuff in Men's and More too? Nicer brands or? Absolutely, I mean, we get anything from low end to high end um, all over the place. That's one of our favorite things about the store is that honestly, you could be anyone from any background with any kind of style and everything, everyone's going to be here shopping together. I mean, on the same rack, there might be something that retails for $500 or something that retails for $5, so. And then up the stairs, you go into our mezzanine, which is our electronics and sporting goods and books. 
and glasses department and this is one of the most popular places in our store. This okay. is my first stop every time. Yes, you, found, you can find so many great deals here such as phones. So we have all kinds of cell phones from Samsung to Apple. So whenever these phones come or any kind of electronics comes to our operations facility, all personal information is completely wiped clean. We make sure that everything is unlocked and in usable um, condition so that whenever they're brought here, our new guests can easily access. So you can rest assured that basically if you get a phone here, it's not going to be blacklisted. It's also not going to have any kind of iCloud lock on it. Yes, so. so those are all professionally processed within our operations facility to make sure that they're in good working condition when they come here. Awesome. So as we continue going around the cases, we have some of our name brand sunglasses that we keep safe put away in our cases from Ray-Bans to Gucci to Chanel to Oakley. Um, we keep our designer ones locked away, but then we have, you know, ones for five or $10 already on the sales floor. We have all kinds of electronic accessories, um, such as cords and chargers and things of that nature. Here you can see some Fitbits and some Apple Watches. Again, all information wiped clean, so there's no um, trace of personal information that might be left on there. And that's like the latest Apple Watch right there. That's a Series yes. 6, and that's a bigger one for 321 bucks. Yes. That retails for at least like 400 Yeah. That's crazy. All right, and as we keep walking, we also have lots of laptops. Um, I personally got my laptop that got me all the way through college from here. Um, so it's a really great resource to buy your laptops for school or for personal use or tablets or iPads or whatever it is you might want. We have HPs and Dells and Apples. So this section is actually really special to me because I've bought a couple MacBooks from here now and my main 16 inch MacBook Pro that I edit, probably this, this video I'm editing right now on, like came from here. Yeah. And it was like 50 to 60 percent off. Absolutely. I never would have had one right. if it wouldn't have been from this place. And see, Apple typically doesn't discount their products very often. They don't. Right. So yeah. the, we're one of the only places where you can really get a good deal on an Apple product. Over here on this side, we have a lot of Nintendo Switches. Oh, wow. Here you see some of the games, some of our more gaming systems. Now I will say, um, during the pandemic, pandemic, our inventory obviously was hit quite substantially since we depend on travel for it. Um, but our electronics a little more so because people weren't flying in planes to leave their cell phone in a seat or yeah. to leave their laptop in their carry-on. Um, but as travel is increasing, so is our inventory. So we have more to offer our guests. So a fun fact, I believe it was the PlayStation 5. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. That was very rare. People were having trouble finding it, and we got one brand new here. And we actually had a silent auction, and we ended up auctioning off our PS5. That's crazy. Um, and they got an incredible deal on it. Here's one of my other favorite sections right here. So the cameras, yes. We have, typically we have a very large variety of cameras, um, whether it's Canon or, or Polaroid or Kodak or whatever other brand that you might be in the search for. What are some of the best things that you have found in our camera department? I actually got a Panasonic G85 for a hundred bucks here that I shot 4K, did client work with, did this whole channel on from here for like a hundred bucks, of course. And then I got a 50 millimeter 1.4 Canon lens, which is worth like $350. 150 bucks here. Wow. And I've seen Sigma 18 to 35 art lenses here, which are worth $800 for 300 bucks. Wow. It's, it's crazy. And as I mentioned earlier, we also have a very large variety of iPads and tablets. Again, completely wiped clean of all personal information. Um, so it's ready to go for our new user. I've actually bought a couple iPads from here. Um, the iPad that we're using for Slate today came from here two years ago. Awesome. So it's, it's really, you can't beat it. So they've got an iPad Pro 12.9, latest generation for 749. That's not a bad deal. And it's got 128 gigs of storage. It's a Wi-Fi plus cellular model too. That's, that's unbeatable. Oh, and what's this here? Are those AirPods? So yes, we have a lot of AirPods or Beats or Bose, all kinds of Bluetooth wireless headphones um, that come through. I mean, you have everything from first gen AirPods, AirPod cases mm -hmm. to like fully featured AirPods Pro for $154. Yes. So here we have um, Kindles and readers of that sort. So we also have all kinds of speakers that people have left. We have more headphones of all kinds of different brands. We keep much more of our higher end headphones in the cases, but we also have a very large selection along the walls as well. 
So like I said, this is always a very popular place in our store. People find some of their best deals in the electronics department. It's, it's crazy. I mean, if you're in a situation where you're on a bit of a budget, but you want to get the best you could get, this is definitely one of the best places I've ever seen right. to get that. We so, love to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So here, since this is our sporting goods department, we have a, even more of a selection of athletic shoes. So up here you might find Adidas or Nike or New Balance or um, just a whole variety of men's and women's athletic shoes. Well, somebody looked this up. These are prime blues for $69. So whatever discount that is, come get them before they're gone. They're probably already gone. So for back to school shopping or during school shopping or whatever your need is, we are a great resource for that, which most people wouldn't think about, but we have so many backpacks to choose from, a lot with brand new tags. Here we have a brand new Jansport. We have some Herschel backpacks, which were a huge hit. Here we have a combination of backpacks and um, travel bags or laptop cases, duffel bags. Is that a guess? It is. So yes, yeah, so it says it retails for $79 and we have for $19.59. Wow. Less than 20 bucks for a guest bag. So what exactly are we about to do here? So we are about to do the unclaimed baggage experience. So this happens at 2 p.m. every single day in our store, and it gives you, the guests, the opportunity to go through an unprocessed suitcase just like we do behind the scenes. So in our operations facility, our team members will actually go from 25 to 30 different decisions on each item to sort it out and see what happens to it. But for you to keep it simple, we're just gonna do four things with it. We're gonna decide if we're gonna sell it, if we're gonna clean it, if we're gonna donate it, or if we're gonna trash it. Okay. So like I said earlier, about a third is sold, a third is donated, and a third is recycled, so. Awesome, so but everything yeah. goes to good use. There you go. Cool. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead and get into this guy. Let's here. get into it. In the front pocket. We'll look in all of the pockets, all the nooks and crannies, because anything in this suitcase Oh, um, wow. needs to be found. So we've got an L.L. Bean shirt. There we go. So it looks like this was likely a man traveling. It's always interesting to see the story behind each suitcase. Definitely. Were they going to their destination or were they coming from? Yeah. Um, usually if they're going to, everything is nice and neat. And if they're coming from, then it's just thrown in there because um, they were ready to go. So what do you think we would do with that? I think this is honestly good to sell. So I do think you think it, it would go straight into sell? I would, or well, you have to clean it first. It would go into yeah. clean it because if you remember, we launder 50,000 items a month. So everything is nice and clean before it comes to the sales floor. So we would put it in our clean it bucket right there. Don't be selling dirty shirts, right? <laughs> we will not be selling dirty shirts. That is correct. And so while we're looking at these items, we're gonna be looking at things like the condition. So are there tears, holes, stains? Um, if it looks good condition, then we'll start looking at the brand. Um, so this looks like it's a pretty good Izod shirt. I think a man would like to purchase this, wouldn't you? Definitely, um, I think it's in good shape good too. Good thing for our men's and more store. Definitely. So we would put that in the clean it bucket as well. Got some pants here. Um, some nice pants. More Izod, I guess. Whoever lost this really liked Izod. He um, liked Izod, or maybe he was, you know, hitting the outlets on whatever he was going. So let's definitely. make sure we're checking all the pockets too, because oh, yeah. you never know what people might stick in there. Oh, I hear something. Two one dollar bills. Looky there. And so wow. actually, you the guest, we're gonna let you keep that. Really? Wow. Yeah. Thank you. I'll go buy some candy. Here you go. <laughs> I wonder what's in this other pocket here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. So let's look at these pockets again. Yeah. So it looks like there are some stains in here. Oh, okay. So maybe they're not in the best condition, but to get life out of them, we'll put it in our donate it yeah. pile. So it'll go to a good cause there and help somebody who doesn't have eyes off pants. There you go. And right here, we've got um, John's Bay. It's a medium. Okay. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. I don't see any uh, stains in it, but still, I, I think it's probably gonna be cleaned before. Yes, so, so it would be laundered. More St. John's Bay, also. He had two brands that he liked and he stuck to it. Definitely. Seems like. St. John's Bay and Izod. And I'm starting to see some books under it here. I'll put this one in the clean too, so. So what books do we have? Huh. So we, we have a couple of paperbacks. With a bookmark still in it too. Okay. The Great Sea, A Human History of the Mediterranean. So we always like to flip through them to make sure there aren't any boarding passes or tickets or change or anything like that stuck in the, into the bindings. Okay, so it looks like we have a receipt. Oh, that's British. It looks like they were they were traveling out of country. 
Yeah, and I think it's GBP that's Great Britain Pounds, I think. Yeah. Um, so we have a wonderful book department. That is where you can find some of your best deals. So we would go ahead and put that and sell it. Uh, Vanished Kingdoms, the history of half-forgotten Europe. Yeah. A lot of European stuff today. Um, British pounds and a British uh, European book. And right here, um, a bag. Okay, it looks almost like a little toiletry bag is what I would think. Is there anything in it? There is not. So this looks like it's in really good condition. I feel like it might be brand new. Yeah. Um, so this would be really good to put in our third level over in our Men's and More store in our health and beauty aids department. So we'll go ahead and put that and sell it as well. Definitely. You got a windbreaker here too. Windbreaker. So we'll look at the condition, make sure we're checking the pockets. Oh, wow. And what brand is this? This is a Kathmandu Live the Dream Medium. I have never heard of that brand, have you? I have not at all either. All right. Let's see what's in the pockets here. Nothing in that pocket. Nothing. Nothing there. Wonder what's in here. Now you're excited. Oh yeah. You're hoping to find Looking a treasure in a pocket. <laughs> all right, so I guess that will just go ahead and be cleaned before being sent to our sales floor. Definitely. Now, if you did not know, the first Saturday of every November, we have something called our Ski Sale, which is a huge event. It's where we roll out all of our great ski products and our name brand winter jackets. Um, so it's a possibility that we would actually put that on hold to be rolled out in November. And in a holster here, we've got uh, nothing, but this looks like some kind of glasses case, maybe a knife holster or something. Yeah, I can see that. I think we could definitely sell that. I would go ahead and put it in the sell it. Looks to be in good shape. What is this? This this looks like a camera. Oh, what is it? This is a, I, this is a brownie camera. I'm pretty sure. Well, it's not exactly a brownie brand, but wow, that's a film camera. So that's a vintage camera, correct? Yes, it looks like it. So yeah, wow. so we have all kinds of vintage and antique goods um, that come through our store. This guy had some character. Definitely. I like him. Oh yeah. Yeah. So traveling across Europe with a film camera and lots of historical books. There you go. With uh, three dollars in his pocket. So I think this is um in pretty good shape. Would yeah. this? I think this would go and sell it. So yes, I think it would go and sell it as well. So it comes with a leather case and everything. Well, yeah. not leather, but cloth with a leather strap. Nice. It looks like we have a toiletries bag here. Okay, so we will go through that. So we do not, if something is personally used skin to skin, yeah. we would not sell that. We're not gonna sell someone a used toothbrush, but yeah. if it's a bottle of lotion that's more than halfway full or a bottle of, bottle of perfume that's more than halfway full, then we could sell that. So, or if it's brand new. Um, so we could go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Yeah, why not? Um, oh, there's a key in here. Wow. With a, a Dis Disney World keychain. And a uh, SC1 USA, it says. So oh. I don't really think that we could do anything with this. So unfortunately, we would have to put it in the throw it away bin. Yeah. Maybe we could recycle it, but we don't know what that key went to. And all this is used. So ibuprofen, if it's not brand new, we definitely can't sell it. We're not gonna sell the used deodorant or a used comb. So yeah, all of that, and the bag is in bad shape too. So all of that would just go to trash it. Yeah. Interesting, though, nonetheless, stuff you find. Right. Um, we've got a glasses kit. Warby Parker. Warby Parker. My favorite glasses brand, too. <laughs> okay, so we've got some, it looks like some reading glasses So we have here. some prescription eyewear. So we have a couple of choices with this. So we could either sell those or we could donate it. So as I mentioned earlier, we are the sole provider of eyewear to Lions Club International. So we donate prescription eyewear all around the world. Um, I would go ahead and put the glasses and the give it away and yep. the case and the sell it. Definitely, it's in really good shape too. And got another book another in Another book. It is Raphael Sab Sabatini. All of these have been the Penguin classics. Did you notice yeah. that? All of them are, yeah. He likes the classics. Definitely. Right. A lot of, uh, lot of vintage character to this bag. Yeah. That's so cool. you can get a bestseller here at Unclaimed for like three dollars and twenty nine cents. So That's crazy. someone will definitely enjoy those. Definitely, as a college student too, if you're looking to save money on books, um, come here. <laughs> <laughs> so this goes in the sell it for sure. Yes. Um, more clothes. More clothes. Lots and lots of clothes. So we're gonna look at the condition. Okay, we have some pajamas. Yep. So yep. let's definitely make sure those are in decent condition before we decide what to do with them. So do we see any stains? I, yes, right there. Yeah, so these look pretty stained up. So yeah. we're gonna go ahead and give those away. Definitely. 
socks. So as I said earlier, we do not sell used undergarments of yeah. any kind, and this includes used socks. But somebody might enjoy those, so we're still gonna give them away. So yeah. that's gonna go with for all of those socks. Yeah, so they're all the same brand, it looks like. It looks like it. Now, if they were brand new, still in the packaging, then we would definitely sell them, um, but it is obvious that those have been worn. So we've got an LL Bean medium. Um, it looks like it's in good shape. Oh, I do see a stain on it right here. It's a little faded. Yeah. I really don't think that's in the best qualities and we have really high standards. So yeah. we're gonna go ahead and give that away. Definitely. Give it a new life to someone else. Let's see what we got here. We've got a- um, Some more pajamas, a little thermal. Urban pipeline. I think that's Target maybe. Um, really nice. It looks like it's in good shape. I don't really see any standing on it. It's a little like kind of frayed, kind of wrinkled, but. You know, I feel like once it gets washed and dried, then maybe that would release some of that. So we would go ahead and clean yeah. it and sell it. Definitely. This is interesting. Ooh. Oh, it's. It dang. looks a little dirty. Has yeah. some deodorant stains on the inside. It's so sleepwear. Sleepwear. What yeah. do you think we would do with it? I'd say donate. I would give yeah. it away as well. It's not totally trash, but definitely I, I wouldn't buy that probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little toothbrush carrier. Yeah. Or protector. Is that what that is? I'd say that's trash. Yeah, I would trash it. Unless you want to use someone's tooth toothbrush case. Well, it looks like there's, I'm checking the pockets here. Oh. oh. Some, uh, these look like foreign currency actually. Oh, oh wow, yeah. some euros? I believe that's British right there. Yeah, Elizabeth II, 2009. Very so. cool. Wow. Canada. Oh, Canada dollars. So these are Canadian dollars right here. Um, oh, this is a Spanish coin too. Wow. He was just all over the place. He was traveling a lot. Republica. Oh, this is from Haiti. Wow. We've got a Haitian coin here too. Maybe he collected them. Yeah, I wonder if. That's crazy. Yet he had dollars in his pockets, so <laughs> that's cool. Anything in here? I don't think so. I think we No have... live rattlesnakes hiding. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's one more zipper. Oh, wow. So Hidden let's, compartments. Let's make sure we're looking through everything. Doesn't look like he's hiding any He wasn't electronics. smuggling in anything. No rattlesnakes. Or... No rattlesnakes, no shrunken heads. All That's right, good. well, I think you did a great job. Thank you. So now this will be sent to operations. Everything will be laundered and priced and then sent to our store. So that was a look at the nation's one and only Unclaimed Baggage Center. To shop online, visit unclaimedbaggage.com and be sure to check out their social media platforms as well. And come check it out yourself in Scottsboro, Alabama.